So the last event at the European Championships here in Munich, Germany, we had the women's 4x100 relay this time. And the star of this event, Gina Lukenkemper. So this was definitely an event where we wanted to see if she could get another gold medal for her country. And this was a good way to salute the great German fans all week, man. They were great crowds all week, uh, especially for the nighttime events. Um, just great atmosphere. A lot of people into this stuff. A lot of people traveled, I'm pretty sure, to get there and support their countries and all of that. But uh, this was an event that they needed to win, um, you know, to really put a real good cap on them. This is single-handedly probably Gina Lunken Kemper's best week of her career, pro career, in my opinion. You know, um, you know, if you disagree, you disagree. But in my opinion, this was her best freaking week of her career, man. So let's go through all the teams, man. Because um, before I reveal the scores, I'm gonna go through all the teams first. Um, so we had Germany. Uh, key players on this team is Gina Lunken Kemper and Rebecca Haas. But there was a youngster on that team that really made the difference. I'll go over that in a second. Um, we had, um, let's see, let's go through some other teams. Uh, it'd probably be easier for me to go through the start list. So um, so we had the Netherlands. And uh, obviously, we know they won the 4x400 last night due to Femke Bowl. Femke Bowl. And, uh, you know, they had a very diverse team. Zoe Sidney. Um, and Naomi Sidney was also another uh, runner that, and Jamie Samuel as well, were runners that definitely were key to their team. Um, let's go through Belgium. Belgium had uh, Ronnie Vinky and uh, Ronnie uh, Rosius. Uh, those are definitely some runners I was definitely paying attention to in this one for Belgium. Um, next team was Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Uh, and they had, uh, obviously, they had the class of the event. Dina Asher-Smith um, was in here. Um, also, uh, Imani uh, Le uh, Lezacqua, uh was also in here as well. And Ashley Nelson was in here as well. So, they had a very, um, you know what, coming into this event, definitely favorite to win. They had the best national record time of all the teams. Definitely was favorite to win coming in. France was next. Obviously, this is going to be the home country in Paris, so you always want to kind of pay attention to what they're doing. Mallory LeConte is their best athlete. Helene Parizot was also someone who, you know, you expected to carry them as well. Now, Spain was an interesting team. I always had them kind of like in the middle of where they might be. Paula Sevilla was one of their top players. Um, and obviously, JL Bustier. Uh, is someone who I definitely was paying attention to in here because I said she will probably run really fast in here. She's only 21 years old. She's kind of like the 100 meter version of Gallegos, um, uh, Gallegos um, in the 400. So um, if you know the young, younger athletes, you're probably familiar with her. And then uh, Italy. This is the interesting team. This is the wild card team. This is the team that could easily sneak up on the podium, but nobody really had them in there. So this is a they, they they could have definitely made some noise. Obviously, Delia Kadari, uh, Zainab Dozo was also a big name in here, and Elysia Pavese was um, going to get the anchor leg. And then we got Poland. Yuva Sobota leads that team. Obviously, Anna Kiel Basinska, who already won a silver medal the night before in the 400. And he had Pia. Uh, he had Pia in here as well. Not even going to try to say her last name, but uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to say her last name, man. But uh, also you had uh, um, America as well. So let's let's go through these times, y'all, man. That was the start list. Let's get through the official times here. So Germany wins, bro. Germany won, and it was an electricity that went through the stadium that I hadn't heard. Of. Outside of Worlds, when America was doing their thing in the relays, it felt like that. But I hadn't heard anything like that in a while, bro. I guess because of the pandemic and stuff like that. But I hadn't heard anything like that in a while. The, the the country went berserk when Germany won this race, man. They won it with a 42.34 seconds. Um, Poland. How about this one, man? Poland, bro. The Polish ladies won second place. Yuva Sobota, what a run she had. 
But I think having Anna Kill Basinska on here definitely kind of helped lead this group. I think that was the definite uh, a difference maker. They had a 42.61. That was a national record for Poland, by the way. National record. That's insane. Fastest time they've ever ran at a, at a, as a country at a 4x100. Uh, Italy, the surprise in third place, 42.84 seconds. Wow, right? Delia Kadari was on this team, like I said before. Um, but really the star to me of their of their run was the last person who ran, Alicia Pavese. She was the one that really kept third place for them. And they get the bronze medal. Nobody had this team even on the podium at all, bro. This was a huge surprise for Italy to get in there. And this is why I said they had a very um, – their team, the way it was put together, it was really constructed pretty well in this one. Um, I think – see, this is why I said keep an eye on Delia um, Kadari, man, because she is going to be someone who in the next, i say, three or four years – She's going to start really being someone who's you're going to see regularly, kind of always in the mix and stuff like that. And um, uh, to me, I just think Alicia Pavese just has to do a little bit better in the individual events. But she's got mad potential as well, man. But a uh, nice effort from the Italians. Obviously, Spain uh, came in with a 43.03. Uh, Netherlands had the same score, but it was a... Uh, a difference of 0.22 and 0.28 for the Netherlands. So the Spain just got by, just edged the Netherlands. Belgium at six, and um, the two black teams, France and Great Britain and Northern Ireland. This is what I keep saying, bro. I keep saying this stuff on my channel, bro. And that's why I say I'm going to be making a video soon about the white sprinters, the white female sprinters rising up. You had the two teams with the most Africans on it. And neither one, neither one were even in the top six. France and Great Britain and Northern Ireland. That is insane, man. Even though France had a white girl on the team. But um, that, that that's insane. You got Dina Asher Smith on the team, man. And this team was horrible. They did not... <laughs> They did not even finish. Neither team finished, but I'm supposed to. I'm really supposed to believe like the the white girls aren't coming up in, in track when the top three teams had almost exclusively white girls except for Italy, because uh, Zaneb uh, Dozo. Come on, man! Like stop playing here. But let, let's go back at the top to Germany, man, because I need to talk about um, uh, Lisa Mayer first. We're gonna talk about Lisa Mayer first before we talk about Gina Luke and Kimber. Lisa Mayer run the fastest time in the entire field with a 10.15 seconds, bro. Lisa Mayer, if you go back and watch this race, Lisa Mayer was absolutely insane. Absolutely insane on this. Also, uh, big, big uh, credit goes to uh, Vladiator. Vladiator was the one who uh, posted the live uh, action of it, so credit goes to him. Curtis, these these uh, live clips that you see are courtesy of Vladiator. So shout out to him. But um, and we're going to do some film because since these weren't in the television broadcast, I'm, I think I'm going to try to do some film later in. Uh, may, maybe later this week, I'll, I'll give it a try, man. But because uh, we're going to talk about Luka Kemper's 100 meter individual final as well. But I want, I'm want i going to play the second leg where uh, Lisa Mayer came in. So I'm going to show you Lisa Mayer. You see her right here in the middle of your screen. Um, I think this is lane six, I want to say, but look how fast Lisa Mayer is. Look at that. Look at how much she she draws in. Then Gina Luke and Kemper gets the baton, and look at Gina Luke and Kemper go. <laughs> look at Gina Luke and Kemper go, bro. She's going to get past that looks like the that looks like Spain, and then Rebecca Haas takes it home. And then look at you with Sabota, how fast she's running as well. Look at that. Absolutely amazing, man. Dude, the Germans are running super fast in this event. It's it's unbelievable how fast they were running, bro. Like, unbelievable how fast they were running. But Lisa Mayer was a star to me because she was the one that really pulled Germany out in front um, or really helped them get in a position to get out in front. This, this is like the Abby Steiner relay from the, uh, from the uh, 4x100 relays just a few weeks. I mean, back in uh, Worlds. It was the same type of fast run 
uh, Gina Luca Kemper did what Jenna Prandini did, and then Rebecca Hodge was basically T.T. Terry. It was the same formula. Burgard was uh, Melissa Jefferson. Like, it was the same as that formula. But you were Sabota, man, was a monster in that lane for Poland, man. I could not believe how fast she was running, bro. The Laya Kadari, um, Alicia Pavese, man, great runs for Italy, bro. They needed that, bro. They staged off um, the Spain, who was, like, right there, bro. Um, Spain and the Netherlands, bro. They were, like, those two teams were, like, right there, bro, for third place. Um, crazy stuff, but... Italy ended up getting the fastest time at a 42.84, though, man. So, this is insane. This was, this was absolutely insane, man. Go ahead and give this video a like. Y'all hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Um, If you want to uh, if you got any comments, definitely post them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, man, this was a crazy race. And... Like I said, we're going to do some film on this because I want to do the 100 meter individual for Gina Luka Kemper and then this relay. We're going to go over this again in a separate video. Um, this was this was absolutely, absolutely insane what happened in this race, bro. Absolutely insane. Um, I can't believe Gina Luka Kemper comes out of this week with two gold medals and one, and one European championships. Like, this has been an amazing week. People have been waiting on Gina Luka Kemper to show up like this for a while. They've been waiting on it. But I think Lisa Mayer, what I saw out of her, I was blown away. That girl right there, bro, if she – I'm going to be paying attention to her next season very closely. That was that was freaking amazing, man. That was amazing, bro. But um, uh, what did I want to say before I leave out of here? There was something else before we had left. Uh, so I said I was going to do those two film videos and then, damn, I forgot, man. Uh, damn, I forgot y'all, man. Cause it was, so, it was something else regarding this that I was supposed to have did, man. But I, I, I absolutely, absolutely forgot, man. <laughs> absolutely forgot. But, um. This has been a great European Championships, though. Great European Championships. I can't wait for it to get back on the Diamond League to see the way some of these girls who are going to be in the Diamond League can carry this success back over to the Diamond League and be some of the world's best at those events. It's going to be amazing to watch, man. But this has been amazing European Championships. This was, I want to be honest with y'all, this is actually outside of the relay races at Worlds. This is actually funner than Worlds. I, I actually like watching a lot of these races. They were actually really fun to watch. I think it was a crowd, man. The crowd was a little bit better than the American crowd in that one. Um, cause they were just more, it just felt like they were e even more into it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it just, it just felt that way. But thank you guys for watching after news to like, 